Family of a woman shot and killed by a Florida Highway Patrol trooper last week is now demanding justice. They are preparing to file a lawsuit this week. CBS 4's Amber Diaz has more from the Golden Glades Park and Ride in North Miami-Dade where the shooting happened. What's helping you get through this? Her kids. Her kids. For Alfonso Wright Jr., it seems like every day is harder than the last. His sister Latasha Walton was shot and killed last week by a 26-year-old Florida Highway Patrol trooper. She was just 32 years old. My sister was dead 12 hours before we found out. It was 7.30 Tuesday night when FHP says two troopers are trying to pull Walton over for driving erratically. Cell phone video shows Walton hop over a curb and around a trooper's car. Several shots go off as Walton's car rolls to a stop. FHP says the trooper, identified as Ronald Melendez Bonilla, feared for his life. She accelerated towards him and he had no other choice fearing for his life to... to uh, shoot, the, uh, shoot the driver. But the family's legal representation says this case needs a criminal investigation into the officer using excessive force. It's one thing if he's going to justify the first bullet, but then how do you justify the second, and then the third, and then the fourth, and then the fifth, and then the sixth? I want to know how he was, he was in danger for his life if, if the car was in front of him. I want to know, like, how? There are so many questions this family has as they prepare to bury their loved one. They're also preparing to fight for justice. I can't, I can't really sleep. You know, it's, whole, it, it, it's so hard. It's taking a hold of me, you know, but, you know, I got faith. And the family has created a GoFundMe page for Latasha. They're hoping to raise about $10,000 for her two young children. You can find all that information and more on our website. Just head to CBSMiami.com. In Golden Glades, Amber Diaz, CBS4, this morning.